Ow. Listen, I get this question a lot, right? This is a commentary. Hello, how are you? Right, it's a weird start, I know. But um, I get this question a lot. How many Moabs have you got on Call of Duty MW3-303? Uh, I have got 303 Moabs. No, I have, I've actually got over 250 Moabs at this stage. Uh, I've lost count because towards the end of MW3, I'm already talking about the end of MW3, I'll probably return to this next year for a couple of games and what have you. Um, I have got over 250 Moabs, but I haven't recorded the last couple because I've lost interest in MW3. Uh, a lot of people have already. Uh, I'm one of them. But, I don't know, I, I love the game for what it is. I love MW3. It's a great game. Uh, some of the maps are very enjoyable for me. Uh, some of the guns are pretty annoying, like the two I have in my hand here. Um, this is a gameplay from way back when. This is when the FMGs weren't even nerfed. <laughs> you can see me just... This is, a, this is a quick Moab gameplay. This guy on the... This guy on the microphone is getting pretty mad, bro. He's getting pretty mad. But, uh, no. This FMG Moab gameplay is, uh, it's in free-for-all, and it's on c -town. Yeah. Late information. Information you do not need at this stage of a commentary. But anyway, um, I've got well over 250, and I haven't bothered to record the last couple. Uh, I think you may have seen some of them in Mad Mike's live streams. If you didn't know, uh, Mad Mike usually does Call of Duty MW3 live streams, and I usually appear in them. And I've got a couple of Moabs even playing with him in the live streams. And Pascalina Wee as well. Pascalina Wee has done some live streams. And I've got a couple of Moabs in her live streams and so on. But at the end of the day, it's just a 24-25 kill streak. And, you know, on, on the days of Black Ops, I got uh, over a 50 kill streak. Uh, my highest kill streak on Call of Duty Reflex was 49. I got a 38 kill streak in World at War, but that was pretty weird because the connection was kind of wonky. That video is still on YouTube, but, uh, you know, I thought it was great, you know. <laughs> Back in the day, I, I didn't really understand, you know, playing online, um, you know, the connection issues and all this. And, you know, people were basically standing still. Oh, this guy is... <laughs> oh, good to be kidding. <laughs> I didn't actually, I didn't watch this gameplay before I started doing the commentary, I'm just kind of, I'm trying to listen to this guy as well, uh oh, douchebag, oh, <laughs> oh you dick, <laughs> how many times have we been there though, I mean I've played against FMG9 users as well and um, you know, I think most of the FMG9 users we all complain about are people, I can't concentrate doing this freaking commentary because that guy keeps talking, um, you know, people who use the FMG9s in games, they're... Oh, jeez, that was close. They're people who just like to break up people's streaks. They don't necessarily go on a tear, get over a 20 kill streak and all the rest of it. Um, I've played against a lot of them where they're just obnoxiously running into everything. They're not watching their corners. They're just running around the corner and they're saying, Look, my gun's better than yours. I'm going to kill you. Or the chances are on my, in my, on my side. <laughs> it's not about stealing kills. Now. I hate that. I hate when people say stealing kills. I don't. I've never understood stealing kills. I mean, you're on a team and you're fighting against another team. If somebody kills an enemy in front of you, is that stealing a kill? Was it your kill to claim? I hate that. It's just. It's a very childish um, mentality to have. But I guess Call of Duty games. That's what Call of Duty games actually. I guess develop for people. You know. Oh, you're stealing my kills, or uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care either. Oh, there he is. Oh, hallelujah now. Frickin' hallelujah. I thought I got a Moab in this frickin' gameplay. <laughs> I mustn't have. Enemy Sam detected. Dead <laughs> um, right. Where was I going with this commentary? I'm totally distracted here. This is a great laugh. I'm watching this game today and I'm like, this guy's getting really annoyed. Like, He's probably going to come around that side again. Is he? Would he really go the long way around? No, I don't think so. I'll wait here. This is a great spot. Because they'll jump over you. You'll see his little shoes in front of me now in a second, I think. Oh, I can hear him. I can hear him. Oh, he's around the corner. He just got killed. Oh, everyone's using our combo. Everyone's using your combos. <laughs> this commentary was done, or this gameplay was done ages ago, like, so. Um, so, yeah, bro. Anyway, for this commentary, I just want to quickly touch on a subject, right? And the subject is... I haven't even thought of it. Let's see what comes to my mind. 
Onion rings. Now, onion rings were developed by a man called Johnny. <laughs> oh, no. God damn it. Uh, Black Ops 2 is coming out, guys. Can I talk about Black Ops 2? Is that okay by some people on YouTube? Or am I going to get some flack for it? Like, can we... Black Ops 2 is coming out, and I actually had a dream last night, right? I know this commentary kind of bit... Kind of gone a bit, like, weird, but, like, that's because I'm listening to your man. Um, I had a dream last night playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, for me, for someone who has no internet, I cannot play Call of Duty online. And I always found taking a break from Call of Duty online, it's great to go back to it and play it again. And it's something I'm actually craving at the minute, as I want to go back to playing Call of Duty games. But uh, the, Wii, Wii, the Wii U version is going to be the first ever Call of Duty HD game, game that I ever play. I know some of you guys now, I know Conboy, uh, for instance, I've seen it on his channel, that he has played the Xbox 360 for quite some time. He's done some Black Ops uh, Xbox 360 gameplay, as well as uh, online and MW2, and so on. And I'm really excited to play it on a HD console for the very first time to see, you know, what the hype is about the graphics and all the rest of it. Even though I understand that, you know, Call of Duty game, it boasts that it runs in 60 frames per second without dropping. And they can only do that by dumbing down the graphics a bit. So it's probably not the best showcase of graphics there is on any console. No, I think he's using it now as well. But I'm really excited to play it on the Wii U. I'm looking forward to a couple of the different modes. I've seen trailers now. Where there's this uh, scope on a gun that lets you see around corners. It's, I guess you could say it's like the heartbeat sensor. But this time it's visual. You can see your target. And I think it's going to be weird. I think a lot of you guys who are mostly looking forward to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Are going to be shouting and roaring at how crap this game is. And I'm not talking about the game being crap. I shouldn't have said that. But what I should have said is um, how... You know, overpowered some things are going to be in all the rest of this jazz that always goes on with the release of a Call of Duty game. Uh, I came first, your man came second. I you still give it out. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I don't know. I, I don't even know if I'll upload this. See ya. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, you can subscribe here for more videos. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can click on the videos playing on screen. Or if you want to check out my Let's Play channel and vlog channel, there's links down below.